You are looking at reverse osmosis and you don't know what the heck is going on. Well, yes, it's about chemistry and it's about physics. So let's talk about it real quick. I'm going to make it very simple to understand. So you chemistry people and, and physics people out there, please go read your book and find out about it. This is for us general population, right? So what we want to do when we're just trying to make water as clean as possible and we're trying to kick the bottled water habit, we're talking about using NSF 58 certified drinking water systems that are designed to get the toxins out of the water. Again, toxins are very, very small. We could be talking radium, talk about vinyl chloride, we could be talking about hexavalent chromium-6, we could be talking about uh, forever chemicals. They are just barely attached to that water droplet, they're very small. So how do we get rid of that? So in order to get the best quality water, reverse osmosis is one of the best techniques. First of all, it's going to go through a carbon sediment block. Well, that's where we get some of the bigger particles out of it. So when we look at a reverse osmosis system, that's usually the first stage that we have. Then the second stage, in some units it's maybe the third stage, is what's called the membrane. Now we've cut one in half so you guys can sort of see it. Basically, as you can see, it's a high quality membrane. It's completely filled with the membrane uh, material that's actually in here. It's a semi-permeable membrane, which means there's little teeny holes that this water droplet has to actually go through. So it's sort of like this. That water droplet's got to squeeze through there, and as it squeezes through there, it holds back all those little debris like hexavalent chromium-6 or forever chemicals. Now, as the water goes through there, the clean water comes up the middle and into a holding tank, and we have wastewater that's flushing the outside of that membrane like this and cleaning that off and flushing it to the drain. So, it's a very good process in order to actually get the toxins basically out of your water. Now, no system can guarantee that we can get everything out of the water because in today's world, we can measure contaminants in the parts per trillion. That means we have such technology that we can look at this water droplet and see the smallest little amount. But in general terms, if you want to get the most of the parts per million out of your water, a NSF 58 listed reverse osmosis system is going to use a few different filters like I showed you here, and it's going to rip those toxins right off of your water. So if you need help with this, if you've got questions, reach out to me, send me a message. I'm happy to answer any, any questions you might have. Remember, NSF 58 listed reverse osmosis systems are the ones to get. Most likely you want to get one made in America. Pay close attention because some of them say they're made in America, but really they're assembled in America. And that way you can get the highest quality water for you and your family. If you know me, I'm passionate about making you and your family more healthy with good, clean water. So again, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm Drew. I'm here to serve you.